So my name is Phil Eichmiller. Phil is a senior QA engineer on the Fusion team. He's an expert at teaching Fusion, has taught numerous classes at Autodesk University, and continues to teach Inventor and Fusion to students at his local community college. Let's see if you can help him out. Oof. Okay. I'm designing a whiteboard drawing robot. Oof. And I want to make a nice model, even if I don't need it to be this buttoned up in order to facilitate the design and build. The selected horizontal rail will be mounted to the wall, and I want to have the vertical rail with the bearings slide along it, but I don't know how to, what to constrain in order to make it work. Okay, so I've set this up in that vein, although uh, I, this part here actually needs to be ungrounded from parent. So grounded parent is turned on by default, and so when I made this first component, it got the little anchor which grounds it to the parent. So um, I have to, to take that off so that this will move around, which is what's desired. The other part is, is that this part here, which is supposed to be mounted to the wall, um, I'll just go ahead and ground that to parent. So that's the part that doesn't move, and this is the part that moves. This is gonna slide back and forth on here is what the, the, the person's after, right? This is where um, Fusion has a lot of powerful workflows that are not always the most obvious. There's kind of multiple solutions for everything in this this regard, so it's probably best to just pay attention to what, what you're being shown here. So one of the things I can do is I can I can decide that um, you know that surface has a planar relationship. Picking that surface. Oh wait, ah, with snap. Okay, I'll pick a snap. Um, So now this thing moves only on that plane. Now the next place I might try is actually just go ahead and set up a tangent relationship. Tangent relationships are pretty powerful. So if that is tangently related to that, what does it do? It's, oh, well it slides around, but it also rotates. <laughs> okay, we're close, we're very close. Let's try one more tangent relationship. Maybe that's all we need here. And that, those two things are tangent, right? So tangent is great for anything that is round that follows another surface. The funny thing is, is I was, I was really hoping that these, these revolutes would rotate. I put a little telltale in there to make it happen, but that's okay. Um, if it's a whole nother topic, We'll have to come back to this one. If you want me to simulate the wheels turning and I can put a motion link in there, then let me just show you where I would go. If I really wanted this to be like super realistic, I would try maybe a motion link that says, okay, as this thing moves, these things turn. You just relate two joints together. If this moves an inch, this thing turns around once or something like that. And you can kind of simulate gears and things that way by linking two joints together. But that's, that's again, that's another rabbit hole. This, this gets it done.